So I picked up the bike on a Saturday morning, uh, rode it home, and by the time I got home it was late afternoon, and one of the first things I did was check to see if my rear stand from my 07 speed triple was the OEM factory Triumph rear stand I bought new when I bought the bike would fit this bike and it didn't fit the pin was the wrong size I think it might have been too large but it may have been too small either way it wasn't correct so that very night I went on to Pitbull's website I've had Pitbull stands for years and I like them they're very high quality they're gonna last forever uh, you know it's not one of those products you buy now and three years later you've bent it or something it's it's a they're incredibly rugged and they work really well they're not hard to use but anyway I looked on their website and they did not have a listing for the 2022 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS because it was too new so I sent them an email asking when would you know or have one available and I got a response on Sunday morning from George Hoffman and I believe he is the general manager I thought he was the owner at first but he is the general manager of Pitbull and uh, he said thank you for your interest Scott we will let you know as soon as we know something we're waiting on our California dealers to send us measurements so we know what pins to send out with the stands I'd already decided on the hybrid rear stand uh, and I sent him back an email thank you sir I appreciate your quick response and then immediately thought hey I've got one in my garage I can give him measurements and I sent an email back stating that and within a few minutes maybe 10-15 minutes I had an email back said would you you would be willing to do that I would appreciate that thank you I said yeah so he sent me what kind of measurements he would need I got out my calipers and pulled the pins and started measuring for him and uh, gave him measurements and sent them in and he got back to me and he wanted to know the depth they make a trailer mount for these where the axle goes this go, uh, pin goes all the way through the axle so the bike can't tilt when you're toting it around they make trailer mounts as well that are just mount to the the base of your trailer but anyway make a long story short I sent him a bunch of measurements and he said oh great we got some in from our California people too and it looks like they all line up yours and theirs and uh, he said so we'll we'll uh, I'm gonna do you a favor and he gave me he put an order together for me with uh, he said he was gonna send a couple of different pins to make sure that they worked and if not we would continue and, and we would measure the pins and make sure everything worked right and uh, he said just contact um, I forget her name but uh, in sales and give her this order number and it's all set up for you and I'm gonna give you 50% off I sent him back an email well thank you very much very very much and I contacted her I don't know if it was Sunday or if I waited till Monday morning but either way I contacted her and they put the order in and when I called they said she said that uh, their orders right now were kinda of back ordered it was usually two to three weeks especially for a special order of this type and I said, okay, that's still fine. Go ahead and do it. And uh, generally the stands are like 250 260 bucks, and then pins are an extra of something or other, maybe 20 bucks. I don't know for sure. But to make a long story short, I had a stand in three or four days. They sent it out to me with three pins or two pins, and I tried them. One pin didn't fit. I contacted them again, and they sent out another pin. And uh, But lo and behold, they charged me $150 for everything and I now have like four pins back there they even sent at one point a pin that was sta staggered there was three stages to make sure which one would fit properly or the best and uh, I sent him back the information and I was like this is the one that's gonna work and so they uh, helped me out I helped them out it was a very good thing I was very 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 pleased and how quickly they responded and how quickly I got a stand and uh, they didn't have to give me a discount I would have been glad to do it but so kudos to Pitbull kudos to Pitbull they uh, did me really really well I also wanted a stand a floor stand where you just set it on the floor and a wheel chalk and you just roll the bike up in it'll stand there that's how I do my oil changes if I'm gonna do a regular cleaning that's how I do it and I asked George in an email about that and he said, uh, I don't know if it was an email or a phone call, I might have called, but I think it was an email. 
and I asked him about it, and, and you know what his response was? He was, we have a friend, and I think he was meaning him and uh, Van Bockenberg, who is the owner of Pitbull, uh, said, we have a friend who makes those, and so we don't want to compete with him and take away his business, so that is one product we do not make, because I, I was kind of surprised that they weren't on the Pitbull website. They make trailer stands that you bolt to the trailer, same thing, wheel chalk, just not freestanding, you have to bolt it down. And they make really nice rear ones if you're going to put these on a trailer where you put it into the wheel chalk and there's a, a pin that goes all the way through the axle so the bike cannot shuffle back and forth. But uh, I found that when they told me that, they have a friend that makes those particular type of stands and they did not want to compete with them, so they just didn't make them. And as far as I'm concerned, Pitbull is probably the best on the market. Uh, it's a USA company in, in uh, Huntsville, Alabama, I believe. They, uh, I, I like, you know, uh, uh, for you guys that are outside of the country, they're still a really good product, and, you know, I try to buy American when I can. Uh, you know, British products okay, too, though. Um, anyway, so he told me they would not build those because they didn't want to compete with a friend. And I thought, that's pretty interesting. You don't see that in businesses most days now. And the other thing you don't see is a lot of times the quality of a product. Not a lot. I don't know about not a lot, but I would say at least half the products you buy are really not meant to last. They would just assume, even, even vehicles, even cars and such these days, you buy one and you figure 100,000, 150,000 miles on a vehicle and you need to get rid of it. That's, a, that's an old vehicle. And... Uh, so these particular stands, I've had two of them for probably 15 to 20 years now. Not, there's a little bit of rust on them. They get you know, a little dirty and corroded depending on how you leave them or treat them. But uh, there's absolutely no breach in any of the quality. Nothing is broken. Nothing is bent. They work as good as the day I got them. And I would continue to buy Pitbull stands as long as I need them. And um, for a Pitbull, you don't have to buy them that often. Once you buy them, it's good to go. So... Kudos to Pitbull. Uh, that's 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 pretty good ethics. Uh, you don't see it every day. I just think that's a wonderful thing. And so once again, Pitbull, great job, great job, great product. And if you like to buy a Pitbull product, they have lots of product. They have clothing. They have various. Uh, I think I even saw a chain of sprockets on their website the last time I looked. I don't know if they if they make them or brand them or what. But anyway, uh, Pitbull stands you can't go wrong. So, and, and like I said, the business, that, the business ethics, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty, that's, pr that's something. That is something. So that was what I wanted to tell people about Pitbull. Not necessarily that they are a great product, even though they are, uh, just that the company value is, uh, is something. I don't, I, you don't see that very often. So, I'm going to move on and video something else. I don't know what we're going to do here, but I'm going to clean the wheels up. I did a short little bit of research about Pitbull. The owner's name is Charlie Van Valkenburg. He's the president and CEO. He started the company in uh, 1994. And um, he is a designer by trade, an engineer, designer. He's made parts for the International Space Station. And I guess he branched out on his own to he also is a motorcycle rider and was making stands for himself and some friends, I guess. And he decided to go into his own business full-time in uh, 1994. And they are from Huntsville, Alabama. He also holds a world speed record, probably, maybe still, I don't know, uh, of uh, 198.25 miles per hour at the Bonneville Salt Flats on a modified BMW S1000RR. So these are the three pit bull stands I have. This was the one I had first. When I bought my 07 Speed Triple, I needed a front stand. This stand is the one where you put under the uh, fork tube stanchions at the very bottom. And uh, it's kind of interesting. I'll show you how it works in a few minutes. Uh, these are for hanging your brake calipers when you work. Um, secondly, I bought this stand, which is for a double-sided swing arm motorcycle and you have the piece here you can loosen the bolts, whip them over 
and uh, that would fit your uh, swing arm uh, pins or I forget what they call them right now but the little buttons uh, very solid that way it's a little bit slippery on these if you're jerking the bike around a lot but um, very handy very easy to use rugged as hell these things I think will last forever this particular this particular stand is 15 to 20 years old now and uh, still works like a champ I believe it'll be around long after I am same with this one and this is the newest stand I bought which is called their single-sided swing arm hybrid rear stand the pins are in it. so this is the hybrid single-sided swing arm rear stand and by hybrid it means you can use it on either side this arm can be loosened switch the opposite direction so you can swing it both ways on either side this pin and I really like this because this pin has a roller bearings set up versus the last stand that I had for the 07 speed triple which was the OEM factory stand it didn't spin so you jerk the wheel and it was hard to move this one the wheel rotates very easily these pins they make the stand one size fits all but the pins are replaceable can remove the bolt there pull that out and there's there's a second pin because the speed triple has a different size pin on one side than the other and uh, basically you can interchange the pins to fit multiple uh, multiple bikes even if you have you know a Ducati a BMW and this then you probably could use this stand for all the same just by replacing the pins very high quality stuff again meant to last uh, they'll be around long after my motorcycle is but these are the three stands I have. So, first step was to take off retaining clip or funky cotter pin. I lost one of these, hung it on my rear foot peg before I removed them and forgot to put it back in, rode off down the road and it bounced off. Uh, so I bought a couple of them just to have a spare. So now I put it in my pocket or I Put it next to my coffee cup or my cigarettes or phone and that way I don't forget putting to put it back on. So it's a pretty simple process. Make sure you know you'll have the right size pin there. Slip it into the axle. And of course I say it's pretty simple and there we go. There's little grooves on that pin so that the tire will tend not to slide so sometimes it makes it a little sticky to get in there but once it's in it fits beautifully. You want to straighten up the bike so the wheels of the stand are both touching the ground and I tend to grab something under here, put a little weight and push. Pretty simple. Wheel spins easy with those Roller bearings, front stand, pretty simple too. Front stand will work. Hmm. Just gonna do this one hand. Well, I'll be a little tough. Make sure your handlebars are straight. We've got those little rubber pieces and they will, you want to make sure they're even on both sides. However, I'm going to put the camera down and show you what I do to, if you're going to use the, uh, the brake holders, you'll put these up. And that way when you take your brake calipers off, you can hang them on these particular plates. And like I say, you want to make sure that the little rubber feet, I can just see them in the gap down there sticking through. On this side, I can't see them, so I'd want to shimmy it a little bit. got about the same gap on each side 
and it's kind of straightforward. You just uh, press down. Voila. You spin the wheels on the stands. Very, very handy if you're going to work on it yourself. Um, as you can see, today is wet, which is typical for summer in Florida. Not usually this early in the morning, it's about 10 o'clock. Uh, but normally, anywhere from noontime to 5 o'clock, you can expect at least an hour or two of rain. Uh, and a side note, I traded in my old truck on a new truck. Uh, let me know in the comments if anybody would be interested in hearing a little bit about that. Uh, I know it's a stray from motorcycles, but if you're interested, let me know. I'll pop a few pictures and, and show you the pictures of the old truck. 